over the gate, through the bushes, and up the hill brings us on a 200-year-old trek into the Iron Lady's past. It's in good condition considering it's 200 years old. Catherine Sullivan was born here in the townland of Drummonasig in 1811. She emigrated to England, where she married a farm labourer and worked as a washerwoman. It's not rotten. She gave birth to at least three children, one of whom happened to be Margaret Thatcher's grandfather. <coughs> the older people always went on about it, you know, about the Sullivans living here, and uh, some of them went to England. And it turned out to be relations of Margaret Thatcher's. The people of Kenmare have known about the Thatcher connection for many years now. However, it's fair to say there's been a general reluctance in the past to publicly acknowledge that ancestral link. There's a kind of a mutual indifference because in the same way as Margaret Thatcher only referred to her Kerry connections when she was talking about the Kerry Blue dog, which seemed to be a very temperamental type of a, a, a dog, um, the people of Kinmare had no great interest uh, in Margaret Thatcher at the time. It is a hard one to call, it is a delicate one. A lot of people are said to be very good for tourism and that, you know, they would be quite happy to commemorate her. And more people are saying that maybe it is too soon to do anything. This is a real good chimney. See, up here there was smoked the meat, the old pig. The unveiling of a commemorative plaque was discussed at a parish council meeting over the weekend. A final decision, however, was postponed. The Iron Lady, it seems, as divisive in death here as she was in life. Sean McAteehig, RTE News, Kenmare, County Kerry.